Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be filming a Naked 3 palette tutorial and kind of like a little first impressions video. I got the Naked 3 palette for Christmas and I was so excited and I wanted to film a tutorial for you guys but I also wanted to do kind of a quick first impressions video just to let you know what I thought of the palette when I first got it and first used it. So I'm going to stop talking and we can just get into the tutorial, the tutorial and the review. So first off, um, I created this look that I have on right now with this palette and I just want to say first off that I really like the packaging I love this like hard metal tin um, that they use uh, and I like that it clicks closed and you know that it's going to be safe um, and then getting into the eyeshadows first off looking at them I just think they're all beautiful they're all rose gold tinted so that's great with a lot of eyeshadows or eyeshadows it's a great with a lot of different eye colors um, especially hazel eyes which is what I have so the rose gold kind of reflects off of the green brown tints in hazel eyes which I think is amazing and um, all of these colors are just so absolutely beautiful and before using them I was a little worried because I've heard mixed reviews about this. I've heard some people absolutely love it and I've heard some people say that it's definitely not worth the money. So I was curious to use it and see what I thought and I think all the colors are amazing. The color payoff is absolutely beautiful. Um, and I mean they're a little chalky and I know that was one complaint that people had that they're a little bit chalky. Um, you have to press lightly when you uh, put go to pick up product with your brush um, because they do crumble a little bit but it's not to the point where it's terrible to where I'm not going to use them. It kind of rem reminds me of the Lorac Pro palette how when you go to pick up color it's like really loose um, but I mean other than that I absolutely love this palette and I think this is my favorite palette out of the other two Naked palettes so if you are contemplating on picking this up I definitely recommend picking it up. So now that I'm done with my review, I'm going to film the tutorial. And I did it a little differently this time. I talked the whole time while I was putting the eyeshadows on, which is new for me. I usually do voiceovers, but I thought I would try talking while I was doing it so you guys could get a better idea of what I'm thinking while I'm putting the eyeshadow on. So let me know in the comments below if you like those type of tutorials better than me just doing a voiceover and if you do I'll do those from now on and I won't film a voiceover so <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial let me know in the comments below what you would like to see next and let's just get on with it so starting out I've already primed my eyes with um, Urban Decay primer potion uh, I don't know what color this is I think it's Eden it's just the matte one and then starting off I am going to put dust on my inner corner with a flat shader brush. This is from Sigma. It's the E55 flat shader brush. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to put this all over the inner corners. And you want to put this on with like a padding motion because these do have shimmer in them and you don't want fallout. So I, I found the best way to put this on is just to pack the color on the brush and then just pat it on your lid. Then moving on using the same brush, I'm going to go into Burnout, which is right here, and put that all over the outer third <laughs> of my lid. And I'm just doing this in the same way, just patting the color on. And from there, I'm going to take the color Buzz with the same brush. I use this brush for everything. Focus, there we go. And I'm going to put that on the outer third of my lid. Just same motion, patting it on, picking up some color, and then patting it on. And this doesn't have to be perfect if you have lines and stuff. These colors all pretty much blend together really, really well because they're all in the same family shade range. Um, but if you do have like coarse crease lines, crease lines um, it's not a big deal because we're going to blend it all out. Then moving on, I'm going to go in with Nooner. And I'm going to put this in my crease with the same brush, but instead of using it flat like this, I'm going to 
turn it like this and put it in my crease. Then using my fluffy side of my um, brush from the Naked 2 palette, I'm going to go into the color Factory. And I'm gonna put this on my outer V as well as a little bit in my crease. Again, I'm just starting off by patting the color onto my eyelid and then using windshield wiper motions to kind of blend it. Then taking the same brush from the Naked 2 palette using that same end, I'm going to go into the color Black Heart. And I'm just putting this on the outer V. I'm not gonna go into the crease um, at all. So just this V area right here. And be very careful with this. Um, I, I start out with using just a tiny bit of this color and then building it up as I go because it's so dark because you can always put on and you can't take off as easy. <laughs> then I'm gonna go back in with that same blending brush and blend it out. <laughs> then going in with a Sigma E30 uh, little pencil brush. I'm going to pick up the color Factory again, and I'm gonna put it on my lower lash line, probably about um, to my pupil, uh, and then I'm gonna go in with Black Heart, and I'm gonna put that on the outer third of my uh, lower lash line. Going in with black heart, I'm going to put it on the outer third. Then going in with this random dome pencil brush, it's like a thicker pencil brush. This is from Crown Brush. I think I got this uh, off of Hot Look or something. Um, it says it's a crease brush. I'm just going to use this to blend out the lower lash line so it's a little more smoky. Then going in with the flat side of the brush from the Naked 2 palette. Um, you could also use the flat side of the brush from this palette. Um, I'm just using this one because my Naked 3 palette brush is clean and I don't want to use it yet. So I'm using the flat side and I'm going to go in with the color Strange. And I'm going to put that on my inner corner, my brow bone as a highlight, and then also uh, on the center of my lid near my lash line to create more of a... Um, pop in the center of my lid so it's not so dark. So there's dimension, that's the word I was looking for, dimension. So that's pretty much it for eyeshadow. I'm gonna do my winged liner and my mascara now. And I'm not gonna film that because you guys have seen that so many times and you don't need to see it again. So I will be back with the finished look. And so I'm going to be going to LA IMAX this year and I'm so excited. So that was like my major present this year. Um, and I'm so happy 